Army engineers have to work hard throughout the year to keep up to speed on the job they do and keep their engineer skills up to par. I'm Sergeant Jeremiah Richardson from the 416th Theater Engineer Command out here observing Operation Essayons at Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. And while I'm trying to keep my balance on this high beam, these soldiers down here, these engineers, are working hard to train each other on what it takes to build these Southwest Asia huts for Operation Essayons. From June 15th to the 23rd, approximately 11 units from both the 412th and the 416th Theater Engineer Command conducted a Training Readiness 2 exercise named Operation Essayons. What does Essayons mean? It turns out Essayons is a French word that means let us try. We can loosely translate that in Army terms to let us train. For Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, Operation Essayons is their biggest construction project of the year. So it's a win-win situation for both the installation and the engineers who are using the opportunity to refine their building skills. Some of the engineer assets work very hard to break new ground, bulldoze, level, and create the beginnings of a personally owned weapons range as part of a new recreation center on Fort McCoy. Others worked on case bands, otherwise known as ABM buildings, by using ABM machines to bend steel. While building an ABM building, teamwork is the name of the game because everyone has to do their part and rely on each other in order to create a flawless building. It's like watching a child grow. You get there and there's nothing there, and after it starts forming up, you're basically proud of what you accomplished. It's just a total different feeling. So you come up here and you're like, oh, we got a lot of work to do. And at the end you're like, wow, it's done. In order to build those ABM buildings, other units had to lay unique foundations that present their own challenges. Well, with, with this it's not so bad. I mean, the footer is a smaller job, it's narrow. You're looking at 30 odd inches in width. And you just got longer runs. But if you're pouring a larger pad like this or something bigger, it's really labor intensive. I mean, you gotta move that crete around you got to get everything level, and then you got to float it, you got to check everything, and then once it's done, you got to cut relief cracks. So it's a pretty long process. You can't do everything usually in just a day unless you just got you know, a little sidewalk piece to do. Also, some engineer units worked on Southwest Asia huts that are used to train mobilizing soldiers on convoy operations and urban warfare. Not surprisingly, creating houses is not only helping those mobilizing soldiers. It's been really good uh, for all the cross-training, um, getting them more of the hands-on experience so that they know that what we do is helpful to them because the sooner we get our stuff done, the sooner they can come in and throw up their plumbing work or their ele electrical work. Overall, the leaders of the operation found this year's Operation Essions to be a great success and say they are confident these engineer units are ready for the next level of training. Thanks to the highly successful Operation Essayons, the engineers at Fort McCoy, Wisconsin are ready to move to the next level of training. Well, that's it for me, Sergeant Jeremiah Richardson at 416th Tech News. Hey, Richardson, get a move on. Uh, I gotta get going. All right, here we go. Woo.